Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars and I have a very, very interesting video for you all right now. I have probably my favourite longest standing recommendation. Many, many, many years. Um, you've, you've seen me talk about it before. Um, the Fersh Blue G CMC. Now those model, those, those letters First is obviously the brand name, uh, made in the Czech Republic. Uh, been a long, long standing favorite guitar brand of mine from uh, Czech. Uh, the Blue Series, it's kind of like, uh, they, they color code them and uh, they start off at kind of things like Violet and Indigo, but it kind of gets serious at Blue. So Blue is your benchmark. Uh, so maybe think of B, B, uh, B benchmark, uh, Blue, Blue benchmark. Um, it starts at blue because you get all solid woods and all solid woods give you a much greater tone so I like to start at the blue series um, and we're looking at around about prices kind of slightly go up a bit but around about the 900 pound mark so uh, I think our prices might be about 949 now for a cutaway and 899 without a cutaway so around about that 900 pound mark so the uh, first blue G, well G stands for Grand Auditorium and CM stands for cedar, uh, cedar top and mahogany back and sides. So CM. Now, so people are used to hearing me waxing lyrical about this little baby. So today I am bringing you both the G and the OM. So the idea here is I just want to show you the basic differences between an OM body shape and a G. So OM is a slightly smaller body. So if we put them side by side, get them on my lab. Um, this is what they do in the, uh, the gym videos, is they kind of out um, angle each other. <laughs> you may not know what I'm talking about there. Uh, but they want, when they want their muscles to look bigger, they kind of like stand towards the camera and so they look a bit bigger. Um, but really, this guy is smaller than this guy, uh, but he looks a bit bigger. Anyway, that's, that's a distraction. Um, so, guitars. OM, slightly smaller than a G. And what you'll find is that the, generally speaking, the OM will be slightly slimmer too. And um, you can't see this, but I'm just putting them right by each other. So it's a good centimetre, uh, a good half an inch uh, in depth. So the OM is slightly thinner, slimmer. And then if we look at the width of the lower bout, It'll sound like it's clanking around. It? It's again about three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch shall, um, slimmer in, in, the, in, the, in the lower bow as well. And as a rule, very slightly shorter too. So it's slightly shorter, slightly thinner, and slightly less wide. So in all ratios, shall we say, all aspects, it's this one here is smaller than this one. Okay, so that's the general idea. So people ask me about um, body shapes and sizes, and as a general rule, uh, where's my? Oh. As a general rule, the smaller the body, the less bottom end you tend to get with a larger body guitar, a bit more treble and bass, more of everything really. Um, the bigger you go tends to lend itself well to strumming styles, big, open, powerful chords. So therefore, the G body here, the G body tends to be my recommended guitar because it's kind of in the middle, middle ground. So incredibly popular. You see tons and tons and tons of reviews for the G body. The OM you see far less because it's considered a little bit more specialized, a little bit more towards the finger style. But what I want to show you here is just how beautiful the OM is. So I know I've done a lot of talking, so I'm going to show you both. I always think that the, the best way to go, when, when, when you're listening to smaller versus a bigger guitar, I tend to recommend starting on the smaller guitar. This is just a little bit of advice that works for me. If you go from big guitar to small guitar, your ears, it's just a natural reaction. You get so sucked into the volume and the big 
ballsy sound of the of the, 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 the bigger body, let's say it's a jumbo or a dreadnought, anything when you go to small tends to sound a bit weak and whimsical. So what you tend to do is you, you, you lose the value, you lose the benefits of the, the smaller body. You, 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 your, your ears just don't pick up on it. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate that now by starting with the OM. Because this is a really special little guitar and uh, I want people to be aware of it. So this is the OM. So a, a good practical reason for having an OM is the body is small. It feels very compact, very small, um, very easy to get round, feels very comfortable. Even propped up here on my couch, you know, not in the best seating position, but even in the sort of tucked up way I am, the smaller body feels very comfortable. So let's just, I'll, I'll play that E chord. First guitars are literally powerhouse tone machines. The blue series is really all about tone. Stripped back, simple, no frills, 900 quid tone machines. So. Again, it's the same old story. Notes just do ring, it just rings. Because I'm forever. It's a small body guitar, incredibly resonant. Um, the OM. So even though it's a small body guitar, there's a lot of tone in this guitar and it rings like a bell. It's absolutely beautiful. Small, compact, easy to play. I'm, I can't do it justice because obviously I'm just fanning around on it and not really very good. So, um, but it's great. So, but let's now hear, and, and in a minute we'll go more A, B, like go straight between them. So this is now the G. Now, immediately I just feel a little bit more up there and I can just feel that slight depth of the body. So I was kind of used to playing the small one. Now I'm going a little bit bigger and I can feel it's just a little bit bigger. Not a big, these aren't huge guitars, but I can just feel it. See if you hear this. So even quite gently strumming. If I play a bit harder, you should be able to hear that, 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 that kind of slightly, Licorice That's gorgeous. This is this has been my this has been my baby for many 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 years and I always come back to it and yeah I always I do get kind of caught up in that sound and so let's now really try and digest the differences so let's hear this for me it's about that boom and I can hear an overall thicker 
fuller sound. So we loads of detail, loads of kind of like separation between the notes, even though it's mahogany, which is another characteristic of the version. See, much more mid-range. But it's so, it's so so much more balanced, you could say. up a bit when you as we uh, as we build up in that crescendo it's a small body guitar so it kind of starts to break up which is kind of cool in a way see this much just uh, just uh, smoothness there G is thicker, fuller. Um, what do you hear? What you? What are you hearing? So let's just. I'll try not to talk too much again. Blatantly obvious, isn't it? Different type of sound. I can just imagine someone who's great with a lot of finger dexterity playing this and you'd hear all the notes popping out everywhere as they're playing their kind of finger style piece. No bass overpowering, um, it, a very balanced, delicate, more delicate sound. Um, whereas the G, just a little bit more ballsy sounding, a bit more fuller. No. Just a bit more oomph, hasn't it? Um, but isn't that amazing? Just. Just from that difference, just from a little, a little bit smaller, a little bit not so wide, not a bit so long, uh, a little bit more compact, almost identical. You know, seeing them side by side, you really would struggle to see too much difference between them. Um, but that is what happens when you have, well, slightly different body sizes, and that is it. Everything else about them is identical. Same woods, same materials. Uh, both incredible guitars, but that gives you a little bit of a feel, maybe, hopefully, for um, why would you go for one for the other? I think, generally speaking, if you, if like me, you get a bit captivated by that big, fuller sound, uh, you like to hear the notes popping out, then the G body, if you're not too bothered about the slightly bigger body size, then the G body's good. If you're looking for something a little bit more delicate, uh, tonally, probably a bit more finger style orientated, um, or you don't mind that kind of slightly broken up as you bang into the acoustic sound, because that sounds cool uh, in its own way. Um, if you want it to be more comfortable, looking for something smaller, not quite so reaching, then the OM works as well. Either of them, you just, if you didn't have the other one in the room, you'd just be falling in love with it, what you have. You can literally just play one chord on these guitars and they, 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 they transfix you because they're just in such a class of their own. Um, so there we go. Hopefully that helps. Okay. Um, fingers crossed. Job done. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Bye.